Tonight on Feltfocus, a Dacre takes on the waters of a river, a spotted eagle owl takes a dip in a bird bath, and a pair of scrub robins take on the challenge of parenting. Hello and welcome to Feltfocus. We have plenty of great photographic entries to share with you tonight, so let's dive right in. Derek Scottney took these pictures of a blue Dacre striking out into the waters of the Kasucha River in the Eastern Cape. At first, it looks more like the wake of a shark fin or a crocodile. But as Derek zooms in, we can see its little head bobbing along. Clearly, the grass is greener on the other side for this little herbivore, because it resolutely swims through the potentially dangerous waters of the river mouth, emerging rather damp, but otherwise unharmed on the opposite bank. Did you know, Blue Dacre, along with the Sunni, are the smallest antelope in South Africa, weighing in at a mere four kilograms. On the topic of seldom seen behavior, this next set of photos sent in by Veronica Hoog while she was visiting the Timbavati is certainly not something you see every day. An older leopard with a broken canine is feeding on the relatively intact remains of a cheetah. Leopards may not be as fast as cheetah, but if surprised, a cheetah doesn't stand a chance in terms of sheer power. When it comes to predator hierarchies, the leopard dominates over these slighter cats. This leopard may have caught the unfortunate cheetah, but it may also have merely stumbled upon the dead body and is taking advantage of a free meal, something leopards regularly do. Did you know, predators will often kill other predators if they get the chance, generally not for food, but as a means of eliminating competition for the same food source. Although many species of snake will hunt frogs and toads, not many of them will hunt fish right from the water, except for this particular herald snake, Photographed by Erica Bruggen in Grayton, Erica snaps this shot just as the poor fish's tail fin is disappearing down the snake's throat. Did you know, every snake in the world is able to swim? Now, this chameleon photographed in Salt Lake in the Northern Cape by Ken Dugmore is in the process of shedding its skin. Ken photographed the reptile over a period of three days and it didn't move at all during the process. This will happen as reptiles grow as the new layer of skin would have already formed underneath the old one. Still, it does look a bit like a tourist who spent a bit too much time at the beach and is now dealing with the consequences. Now, John Hartman has again been very busy with his video camera and has shared this fascinating video of a white-browed scrub robin's nest. The female lays three speckled eggs in a well-camouflaged nest in the reeds and grass. When the chicks hatch, the adults will take it in turn to keep them warm and they open their mouths to let off excess heat. At this point, it seems like only two of the three eggs hatched, or the weakest of the three chicks just did not survive. As the two chicks develop feathers, competition for food increases. And the adults are kept busier than ever, darting back to the nest with beaks full of insects and removing the growing number of fecal sacs. Each chick opens its mouth as wide as possible flashing the bright yellow of its beak to attract the attention of the adults. Things in the nest begin to get rather crowded at this point, and there really is only enough space for one chick to stretch its wings at a time. As they reach the point where it is almost time for them to venture out on their own, they begin to resemble sibling children in the back of a car after a very long road trip. John tells us that this entire process took exactly 12 days. Unbelievable to watch. Thanks for watching, that's all we have for you tonight. In closing, I leave you with these pictures of a pair of spotted eagle owls that have taken up residence in Mark Blaine's garden in Sildana. I especially like this one. This owl decided that a dip in the bird bath was a good idea at the time, but the expression on its face makes it look like it might be regretting its decision. We love hearing from you, so keep sending your entries to info at 5050.co.za.